hey 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 welcome back to my channel and today is going to be a wig video before we get started please don't forget to like comment and subscribe remember we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers so don't forget to share because sharing is caring now this is a tiktok live i did last year when i was creating a u part wig I had three bundles of leftover hair, two black and one blonde, and I decided to do the uh, black bundles and then leading up to the blonde on top. And while I loved this wig and got so many compliments on it once it was done, I think it is about time for me to like redo it. So y'all just be on the lookout for that because I might deconstruct this wig and then reconstruct it with different color placement because my hair has grown out so much. But anyway. I'm just showing y'all how I create my U-part wigs. The first thing, of course, is to get you a cap, a U-part cap. You can get them at your local beauty supply store. I will leave some linked in my Amazon storefront down below. Like, I'll leave a full link to everything that you would need to create this look. And the thing about the U-part wigs is that right there at the top is extremely thin so that you're able to blend it into your natural hair. And all I'm doing is going through and sewing and pay attention to when I get to those corners because I like to make sure I show y'all how I keep my corners nice and flat. And one thing that I have to have when sewing a wig are my T-pins because that's what helps me to keep the hair in place as I'm sewing it across. So as you can see, I have one side of the wig already pinned to where I want it to go and then I'm just sewing to meet that T-pin. This is a way that you can kind of measure out your hair, make sure that your placement is right, you're not guessing. And also by going ahead and pulling the hair over to the other side, you can make sure that it's flat from one side to the other pro tip baby so here I am reaching the end of this track and it's time to go back and fold it over I always do the fold over method um because I do not like to cut my tracks that way I can go back in and recreate another wig when need be so as you can see I just folded it over and I put that t-pin there to hold it in place and these uh, tracks are doubled okay they're doubled so you want to make sure that you kind of stack them one on top of the other and then fold it and as you can see I went over to that other side and I began to stitch on the side that is not folded over and then I'll meet it to the folded over side I hope that makes sense if it doesn't just rewind um, but this is how I kind of backstitch in order to keep everything nice and flat. To me, the secret to a nice flat install or wig is backstitching. That way you already have the tension from the wefts from before and it's just, it just lays flat, it's smooth, you can't get confused. It's just the best technique in my opinion. So I've reached where I pulled it back and as you can see, I just keep it nice and taut and then instead of sewing upward like I normally do, I sew downward. Um, to me that just kind of anchors it a bit more. I don't really know how to explain it, but you can totally see the difference. And I just keep going again, using my T-pin as an anchor for my wefts and just sewing along, you know, along the pattern. As you can see, I made it to the blonde bundle. So I started from one end because even though that black bundle kind of ended in the middle, I didn't want the color to not be balanced. So I just started from one end and then just worked my way back around and it filled in at the end of it. But I just, I wanted a nice balanced color. And just pay attention again to how I wrap the blonde around because once I got to the blonde uh, part of the, the whiffs, it is the top so you got to make sure that you are doing more of like a u pattern so that the hair will fall forward and you don't have to worry about like your edges being out too much or anything like that so just keep your eyes open for that you see how i'm pulling the track forward so that it falls forward and then again doing that fold over method now right here on the top whiff 
I did not double it. The bottom two wefts were doubled. The top wefts, I never double because you want them to be as flat as you can. So I kind of actually bring them closer together. I sew a little closer together and I do not double them because I don't want any kind of lumps, bumps or anything like that. And I just want to make sure that everything is nice and smooth. So right here at the top of the wig, the uh, U part goes into like a little point right at the end. So I'm bringing that blonde all the way to that little bitty point right there and folding it back from there. And now that the blonde hair has gone to the edge of the wig cap in the front, I'm just going to like be filling in that last little piece of like lace part right there um back and forth without it actually reaching the front of the wig because i've already gotten that covered here i am one more time showing you what it looks like to sew that blonde all the way up to the edge of the cap and then folding it back around so it's all the way to the edge the hair is falling forward that's going to make my blendization at the end even easier and then i just fold it back now if you are not sure if you're able to do a smooth fold over at this point you can always cut the weft but like i said i don't like to cut my wefts because i take my wigs apart and then make new wigs with the hair especially if the hair is still good so that's why I don't cut them. So for instance, with this wig, um, I have the blonde on top, but I am gonna remake it very soon. And I'm gonna put the blonde on the bottom and just leave the black hair on top because my hair has grown out so much that it's pretty much all black. So you get what I'm saying? That's why you don't wanna cut it. You wanna preserve. You wanna get the longevity out of your hair. And if you buy good hair like I do, honey, it will last you a long time. And so at this point, the only thing I have left to do is close it up. So I'm just gonna keep going back and forth from side to side until there is no more of the cap showing. So here I am just showing you all how I close it up. This is the great thing about doing a U part. You don't have to worry about a closure. All you have to do is keep going back and forth until you run out of hair. And as you can see, I still had a little bit of that blonde left. So I did double it back one more time. And then I went back and I added a black track on top just because my roots are black. And I just wanted to be able to give it a little bit of uh, breaking up so that I was able to blend it into my hair a little bit more. Now, my blondes are not the exact same blonde. My natural blonde in my hair is um, warmer. But when I straightened it out and blended it in, you know, like it wasn't it wasn't bad at all like if you are looking that hard honey it is a problem it really gave more like an ombre type effect you know what i'm saying but if you're looking that hard get out my head <laughs> so this is what it looks like and then i decided to just kind of throw it on really quickly just so that y'all could kind of see what it was giving or whatever um again this is just kind of just thrown on not blended or anything but i wanted y'all to kind of get an idea of what it would look like at the end i did go ahead and do some finishing touches off camera like adding the clips around the u so that i wouldn't have to pin it i also kind of cut more layers because i wanted it to be more of a side part but this is essentially how it lays and everything so y'all just stay tuned for when i revamp this wig and i'll see y'all in the next video all right peace this is a quick snippet of my Go Without Blue course. Join this course if you are a woman suffering from alopecia so that you can learn how to choose, install, and maintain a medical wig. And for a limited time, I have a special promo code, enter promo code intro to receive $50 off of this course. You do not want to miss it. Make sure you head on over to www.bssu.com and join my course today. To everyone else, don't forget to follow me on all socials, links in the D-Box. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.